buying another car let's get it what's up guys welcome back to another video today's an exciting day we're actually purchasing another vehicle stick around i'm excited for it let's get into it So it's about 10 a.m. and the gentleman's gonna bring the car to my house and don't mind that vibration, that's the solid motor mouth of this car. The gentleman's gonna bring the car to my house in like about six hours. Funny enough, this is a car I've never even driven. So I'm purchasing a car that I haven't even driven, I only saw, I've committed to it because that's the type of guy I am. And uh, I saw photos, I saw that, I'm just hoping all that is true. There's some rust spots that we have to fix. But like I said, it's gonna be a, I'm not gonna give it away, I almost gave it away. But if you guys have already watched the last video, you'll know what car it is anyways. But I don't wanna give it away to the new people who are watching it and who are in suspense. But I guess, uh, let's get it. Oh my God. This is gonna be definitely a new adventure. Something new, I've never owned, I've never driven. I've only been in once. So I'm taking a big leap here, but I'm actually really excited for it. I'm so excited to share this vehicle with you guys. I am so excited for the journey. I think this is gonna be super cool. And what's really nice about it, I can get a bunch of cool JDM parts, which can give you a hint into which car. I'm sure most of you guys know what it is. I feel kind of dumb kind of keeping it a secret, but it keeps suspense for the people who are new here and new to this video. I'm just so hyped. I'm just very, very, very tired today. So my energy levels are low, but I'm hyped that it's it, it's increasing. It's increasing slowly because the excitement for the car is, is like, it's getting there, right? I'm just nervous. It's, a, it's something I, like I said, I'm, I'm dumb sometimes and I jumped the gun and it's screwed me in the past where some of my cars weren't the greatest but I've gone proof from underneath the car I saw the bad parts of the car and everything else runs fine and uh, all I gotta say it comes with an HKS axle back well oh, pretty sick all right guys so the next clip you'll probably see is me getting the car it's gonna be a few hours from now I just want to kind of talk to you guys in the morning about you know what's going on and all that but yeah I'm super hyped. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you guys happy there's another build on the channel? I know I am. The anticipation's been killing me. Oh man, I've been waiting all day for this car. Time has gone by so fast yet so slow he's gonna be here very shortly i'm i'm like dying i've been like pacing back and forth i don't know if you guys get like this when you buy a new car but i certainly do i've been thinking about this car for maybe months now i've been doing as much research on it as possible i am so excited to get this in my hands and start doing some really cool stuff for you guys it's something that hasn't really been done on youtube too much and i'm i'm happy to shed light on it it is done the purchase has been made This is my 2009 Honda Fit with a manual transmission. As you guys can see, it is not in the greatest shape because of our Canadian winters, but I am so happy to have this. This is gonna be the new daily on the channel and we're gonna turn this into a race car. And I wanted something that wasn't in pristine condition because I wanted to bring this thing back to life. As you can see, there's little quirks to it. It's not in perfect condition. We do have a bit of rusting and stuff, but we're gonna tackle it. This for where we are isn't bad at all. This is the rust we have on the quarters here and we do have some rocker damage underneath too, uh, which we'll probably have to get re-welded. But in overall conditions, not too bad. It comes with a Honda Sport Fit Wing, which I think I may have to redo. An HKS exhaust and 
a one hell of a shift knob and shifter as you guys can see that 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 needs to get changed we're gonna probably do that today but what's really cool is this has a csx type s steering wheel which brings me back to my csx type s which is kind of cool car isn't plated or insured or anything yet we just have it sitting on the driveway today's actually new year's day i did purchase this on new year's eve you're probably seeing this afterwards just because we have a few series uh, of videos but it did come with some hand cook winter tires which is really good because we'll need that in this time of year the car is pretty basic overall we got some brand new tints in there uh we do have the rear seats and everything look not in horrible condition we'll definitely need to give this a really good clean and then the the front of the car as you can see this is a canadian car and we were in the midst of winter this was a very quick deal so unfortunately the owner didn't get to do uh as much cleaning as he would like but he did do as much as he could and i give him a lot of kudos and credit for it the csx steering wheel looks really cool and i really like it but it's kind of nice like this is the first time i've actually been in one of these fits funny enough i did buy this without even test driving it i'm kind of dumb one thing that's interesting is this honda fit has two keys it has one for the doors and one for the ignition this is something new to me uh, let me know down below if you guys are honda fit guys if this is if there's any way around this i hate carrying two keys for two separate functions i'd rather one key that can do both but let me know we're gonna have to fiddle and guess which one works here let's see let's see no of course my 50 50 it's almost like oh there it goes it's like the usb thing you flip the you put the usb one way it doesn't work oh yeah i got the wrong one again put the usb the other way it doesn't work and there we go i see this thing it does start up pretty quickly and pretty smoothly check that out so not too bad not too bad at all the car does have i think 261,000 kilometers we are not too concerned about that because one, supposedly these motors last forever, and two, it's not going to be in the car for very long. We got these awesome air fresheners. We got a little turbo here. This is going to stay because this is going to be the future. It's going to be a case swap boosted car. Yes. So, aside from that, the car, like I said, needs a very good clean. Let's see if we can hear the exhaust. We do have an engine light. I do have to see what that's all about, uh, but the owner was telling me it has to do with intake. Uh, these Honda Fits run on a canvas system, so the ECU and tuning it and everything gets a little finicky. So we'll definitely have to work around that, especially when we're case swapping. Luckily, I have a really good Honda Fit source. Thank you, Cody. He's giving me all the information I need to know. He is the Fit King. I will tag his Instagram and YouTube down below. Go check him out. If you have any Fit questions, ask him. He'll definitely know before I do. This is a brand new chassis, a brand new world. I know nothing about Honda Fits, except they're very rigid. They never die, and they're actually pretty cool. So I'm excited to get into a hatchback. I feel more at home in this car than I do the CRV, if it makes any sense. I just feel like I belong in a, in a Honda of this sort. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall in love with this car. I really, really do. I really like the CRV, don't get me wrong, but I guess it's the automatic transmission that does it for me, that just like gets me a little bored of it. But it is fun, it's a very practical and cool looking daily, but this is gonna be our new daily. We're definitely gonna get better gas mileage too. I hope you're excited for the Honda Fit content. This is gonna be K-Swap Fit content. There's not a lot of content out there on YouTube, and I do wanna show you guys that it is possible and you can do it in your garage at home it's starting to rain a little harder we're going to park the car and we're going to actually do our first mod to it so this is my random box of shift knobs as you can see we do have a whole sorts and bunch of shift knobs in here you have some tome some buddy club some k-tune we got some circuit hero and i think what i really want to put on there is actually I think we're gonna go with, doo -doo -doo -doo, what do you guys think? This won't fit. Hopefully the Chasing J's uh, Rad Cap will fit, which I don't think it will, but it may. Uh, but let's sw switch out that Skunk 21 for a Circuit Hero. This is one of my favorite shift knobs I've ever owned. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this shift knob. I just feel like I always like putting my touch, oh, okay, nice job, Chris. I feel like I always enjoy just putting my touch on a car and the first touch I, <laughs> I'm i gonna feel, if that makes any sense, is going to be, let's see this actually, is going to be this. So this actually has a very small section for threads here. Like I said, this car is completely new. It's a different world and uh, okay, look at that. That's not too bad. 
Nice, nice. There you go. I actually like that a lot better. It sits a little higher, which is nice. And uh, cool. If you guys want to grab this, uh, Garage 16, I work there. We sell these shift knobs. This is a Circuit Hero one. And honestly, it comes in polish and this kind of brushed silver, which I kind of like better. All right, guys, there it is. The new, old, used, kind of beat up Honda Fit is here. I'm so excited to actually get it going. We're going to start off with small mods. We're going to actually enjoy the Honda Fit the way it is with the motor. And then we're going to start collecting case swap parts. And I'm going to start compiling a list of parts we need and everything pretty much. So I'm gonna make this as transparent as possible. My goal is to have this swapped by summer, but I do wanna kinda of take this on the track and see what the stock fit can do with just an intake and an exhaust. I know they're not fast, but I heard they're very nimble. And once again, I don't have that much track experience at all. My first time tracking was a almost 400 horsepower eighth gen, which is kinda of, kind of nuts. Knew nothing about it, but this year we're tracking that that is my 2023 goal is to actually track and get some track content and uh, we're going to build this and we're going to make it kind of crazy we're going to do a case swap and eventually i do want to boost it and push some stupid power behind it and we're going to make a wild i never saw myself behind the wheel of a honda fit never crossed my mind until i started doing research and i started looking at them and i really enjoyed it. i was technically looking for the first gen but the first gen is impossible to find around here in good condition we are not done with the brz either if you guys are worried i do have parts lying around and we're still going to do a bunch of stuff and i'm excited for that uh this year is my year and i'm going to grind hard and i'm going to push street legacy if you guys don't know streetlegacy.ca i do have a few sales going on right now so check it out after all the lopes merch is gone it is gone discontinued so grab what is left i only have a few sizes left so grab what you need uh but like again super excited for the fit i'm gonna do a bunch of research into it i i enjoy purchasing cars that i've never really been into but it's a honda still so it still feels familiar but i can get my hands on a lot of parts especially because i work at garage 16 also uh but yeah guys i'm super happy and hyped for the fit what a great way to start the new year i want to say thank you so much for watching guys we got so much stuff coming with the fit i have so much plans i'm super hyped for it if you stuck to the end hashtag let's not give it away for people who haven't seen it, just hashtag honda let's say honda to the end honda to the end i'm gonna put it right here honda to the end some weird hashtag and uh people are gonna be wondering if they didn't watch to the end what this hashtag is about but you guys will know because you guys are true ogs and you stuck to the end thank you so much for watching once again peace out do it once do it right please like comment and subscribe we're trying to hit 30k share this video with all your friends and let your fit friends know that uh your boy lopes is gonna do something really cool with this thing love you guys I also want to give a huge shout out to Mateo. He drew the BRZ, check that out. He wants to be a car designer. And I think you have a great future ahead of you. This thing looks absolutely awesome. Thanks so much. It's going to be framed and put on the wall shortly.